This is our presentation of Biomedical Technology Solutions Holdings, Inc., brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Biomedical Technology Solutions trades on the Bulletin Board Exchange on the ticker BMTL. So look at a nine-month chart. You can see this is just slightly off its lows at a dime. Closed yesterday at 11 cents. It's a thinly traded stock, 20,000 shares traded. Took a look at the share structure. This has a very low outstanding shares and very low float, about 7 or 8 million in the float. That certainly helps explain the low volume. A couple things we're seeing here. We're seeing a big separation in the MACD, the 12 EMA getting spread away from the 26 EMA. When you see that big separation, a lot of times you start to put it on radar for a bounce, kind of similar right through here. Separation got large and ultimately resulted in a bullish cross and a climb in the share price. More importantly, what I'm looking for is for this to make a higher low, demonstrate a positive divergence. So price per share is trending down. The MACD is trending upward. What I'll be looking for in the near term is a break of that trend line. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled on this valley being created. This isn't an accurate trend line yet until the 12 defines itself a bottom and makes a turn. What I'm trying to show here is what you're looking for is for the higher low to be made. Similar look to the PPO, only reaching a point where it bounced last time. See from the ADX followers of our charts, you know we, we always talk about when it gets near 10, start to look for a reversal. And registering a 13.28, the ADX is in that position to look for some sort of movement. It's just at an exaggerated level and it tends not to want to stay at this sort of a level for very long. So we'll look for some sort of reversal and climb in the ADX. So things start to get interesting with this chart. We start looking at these volume-based indicators. See a basic uptrend going on in the longer-term components of the MFI. See there was your separation of the 7, pull right back up towards 14 and 21. All three in close proximity, which is what we'd like to see, and all three holding at or above 50. Again, that's a bullish indication of buying pressure, and that's supported by the idea of this accumulation distribution and a long-term trend upward. Of course, we'll look for that trend line to hold somewhere thereabouts. Don't want to see us getting back down into this area and making a new low or low. You just want to see this overall uptrend continue. Inevitably, what you look for is for it to take out that level, make a new higher high, continue a strong upward channel. Taking money flow, you can see it's primarily been in the green, which tells you that buying pressure has been overcoming selling pressure for the better part of this nine-month period. A dip down right through here. Of course, was followed promptly up by buying pressure. Move the CMF back over top of zero. CCI breaking through negative 100 at this point. Relatively neutral position, but it's a good thing to see it break through the negative 100. Yeah, what I'd be looking for in the short term is breaking of that downward trend right through here. And of course, you want to see it over top of 50. That's bullish when it's trading at the upper end of its mean. Full stow down at the very bottom and oversold levels. Last time it touched there was right through here. Which, of course, is when it made it bounce from down here around a dime. and bounced all the way up to 24 cents. Tricks, much like the MACD or PPO. Looking for that higher low to be made. Looking for that trend line to be broken. Trying to take a look at the overall picture of this. You know, look for a channel to be established. Something along those lines. So you want to see that as being at the lower part of the channel. You want to see the straight gets move up. Try and break through zero. And define an upper side of a channel. And that takes time for that to play out. Because the tricks is a very slow moving indicator. But that's the sort of thing that you look for. Similarly, the RSI, which does move a lot quicker. Look for that trend line to be broken. Trying to make higher lows. It's in a nice position to try and make a move with the 7 down below the 14 and 21. So we'll look for that bullish cross, the break up through the 14 and 21. And it's at a point where it's bounced several times here in the recent past, so it's something worth keeping an eye on, see if momentum's going to come back into this play. From a candle standpoint, of course, we'll look for that 52-week low to be the bottom support. More near term, some weaker support being established at 11 cents. And that would be a starting point for me. I want to see it hold 11. Obviously, 10's right there next to it. I'm looking at this as trying to make higher lows and overall see if this is going to define this chart as making a bottom and start to trend upward. Going to run into some resistance there at 15 where it hit yesterday. And a little bit stiffer here at 19 and 20. But think a big point that starts to come into play with this chart is at 22 cents. It was the most recent highs over the last month or so and it's approaching that 200 day moving average at that point. Of course the big dog of it all is going to be 24 which is obviously a long ways away. It's more than a double from where it is at this point. But for this chart to put together a true overall reversal it's going to have to climb to that level. That'll put it above the 50 and 200 day moving averages. It does set the stage for a challenge of resistance at 30 cents. But we never try and look that far away. We always look at baby steps. And what does this need to do is try to get these indicators to continue to make a turn. That let's say it could be in the very early stages of doing. Start to make some higher lows and define the bottom. So I'd look for it to hold that 11. Try and close higher than yesterday's high. That's the beginning stages of this trying to make the reversal. We'll keep our eye on volume. As I mentioned, it's a thinly traded stock. See a very strong days right in through here, and that's about 65, 66,000 shares traded. And in classic TA, when it comes to points like breaking through the 50-day moving average, 
or challenging a resistance point. Technical traders really hone in on those volume bars and see how much strength is coming into it to challenge key resistance points. So that's the things I'm going to be looking for with BMTL in the coming future and see how this performs. As always, annotated video tar is merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant and strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by all Benny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.